What's good y'all, it's Swayze, and today Call of Duty has officially confirmed the next game is Modern Warfare 2, and there will be a new Warzone experience, Warzone 2, coming out later this year. And uh, they put out this little community update, a special briefing, and they uh, they put the little red lights here so you know it's serious, and we'll, we'll get into the actual briefing and all the details here in a bit, but let's just look at these tweets that kind of, that kind of summarize everything. So first off, uh, COD 2022 is a secret to Modern Warfare 19 being developed by Infinity Ward. Not a lot of not a lot of surprise there. That's kind of been the rumors up until this point. Um, but then they also confirmed that there is going to be a new BR, a new engine, a new war zone uh, coming out. And they even mentioned a new play space and new sandbox mode. Uh, not really sure what that means. There's not a lot of details in it, uh, as you'll see here in a bit, but uh, that's interesting to kind of think about. Um, it also says that they're kind of prioritizing quality of life changes and, uh, you know, fixing some more bugs and issues. And they even go on to talk about FOV slider. Adding FOV on console in Warzone creates major performance and impacts for old gen console players. And that their goal is to be a performant experience on all platforms. So uh, they're not doing anything about FOV slider on console at this time. Kind of disappointing there, but uh, I mean, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Work. It uh, it does suck that most of the players are on old gen consoles, so this is literally uh, negatively affecting the majority of the players. But so now let's go to the actual briefing that they put on their website, where it gives a little bit more details and uh, on the quality of life changes that they're trying to make. So first off, they say over 30 improvements. Well, we don't really know what that means, but then they specifically go on to say all forms of movement, vehicle handling, parachutes deploying at a lower vertical height. Uh, you know. Try to try to help out Tim the Tap Man, I guess. Uh, increase player mantle height so we you know keep stop getting stuck on every single ledge. Collision fixes for both vehicles and players. Uh, the big one, the gas mask animation will no longer interrupt you when you're when you're trying to aim down sights. I think at this point everybody has has run into this where they're running out of the gas and then they're trying to shoot somebody or or you know they're getting into a firefight and guess what? That damn gas mask animation pops up. Uh, so you know it took them two years years but hey I'm glad they're fixing it now another big thing they're fixing is the armor plates so uh, everyone has had a moment where you know you had like half of an armor plate missing you put one in and then it just kind of fills up that little half instead of giving you a full plate well they're fixing that now so that's good once again another issue that was in warzone since the beginning but hey they're fixing it now they also mentioned more performance issues like the buy station freezes, voice chat connectivity, and <laughs> uh, distorted graphics. Man, that's been that's been like that for a while now. Um, also, in skins being invisible. God, I hope that is not coming back. I hope they fix that soon because that's probably the the most game breaking one right there. But um, the big one that I saw, Modern Warfare 2019, might actually be playable after these new updates. So um, they said they they're kind of acknowledging that it is a big issue and that Modern Warfare is practically unplayable at this point so hopefully they do get into fixing that pretty soon and then uh, one thing that i kind of thought was funny was when they talked about addressing the community requests and they say uh, we have heard the community loud and clear on other top requests for warzone really have you heard us loud and clear because you don't ever say anything about it but i digress field of view slider once again they're talking about that how oh it's a it's gonna be a major performance for old gen players and they can't really do anything on that so they're you know they're they're just not even going to try. It is interesting that they're reaffirming their commitment to listening to concerns and uh, beneficial internal discussions because at this point, they've been radio silent on a lot of big issues. How many tweets, how many comments have you seen talking about FOV slider? And this is the first time they are ever talking about it in like two years. So uh, like I said, I, I mean, they got to start somewhere. So this is a good step in the right direction. Uh, and then it kind of ends with, yeah, they, you know, sequel to Modern Warfare 2019, the new Battle Royale. We already kind of covered that. So yeah, a lot of big stuff coming. And uh, another thing I wanted to point out here is that as the tweets are kind of coming out, you know, rapid fire, there's a lot of new info coming out real quick. So let's just go ahead and talk about one of the bigger things here. They screwed up Warzone when Black Ops came out. 
I think we all kind of realize that the integration of Black Ops Cold War and even Vanguard just hasn't been the best, and there's only been bugs and glitches that have come out as a result. So it is interesting here to see that they are kind of confirming that. Uh, here's, here's one good tweet. We don't always get things right, Infinity Ward's Pat Kelly said, and it takes a long time to fix some things which, you know, they want to change. <laughs> and then it even quotes him as saying, we F things up. We break our effing backs to try to make the best game we have. Warzone was just meant to be an extension of Modern Warfare, and then we integrated Black Ops and then Vanguard, and now the game is bloated, and uh, th that there's so much going on in the game, they're literally having problems finding what's even causing the bugs. Uh, so like I said, I'll we know this. We've seen all the bugs. We've seen how bad the integration has been. But it is interesting to kind of see them actually step out of their comfort zone and confirm that to us and actually, you know, not try to hide and, and pretend like everything's all, you know, hunky-dory perfect. So, but when it comes to the whole communication issue, which, which you know, I've been complaining about and a lot of people have been complaining that, like, you know, Call of Duty, Activision, Sledgehammer, Treyarch, Infinity War, doesn't matter. They're always radio silent when it comes to fixes and bugs and, and complaints that people have so it is interesting to see that a lot of people are getting hyped because as Charlie Intel puts it, it th they gave out a two hour long call and the level of transparency and communication was not something I mean he's personally seen in 10 years and yeah, I think this tweet right here kind of summarizes it. Once again, Pat Kelly said he's extremely excited for this year's game, that there's a lot in it, and also teased some big updates with the new sandbox mode. Once again, not a lot of details on that. I'm not sure if it's going to be um, something like a custom match where you can create your own custom Warzone games where you, like, say, no vehicles, or maybe you can only put one type of weapon that drops in the ground, or maybe you put it to where it's, like, 50 versus 1, or, or you know, just like custom games so i'm not sure what the sandbox mode means but i'm actually i'm actually kind of looking forward to it um they also said uh kind of what we're all thinking it doesn't matter what you hype up you know we're, we'll see how it is we'll judge it when it launches so we can all be kind of hyped right now we should be a little bit hesitant just to see what it actually looks like when it launches because i mean hell it's call of duty how many times have we been hyped for a call of duty game only to be disappointed when it actually launches and actually releases and you know we actually get to play it so uh we'll, we'll see what the future points to but it's all looking pretty good right now i would say and once again this is crazy that they're that they're even hyping up Modern Warfare 2. This is crazy that they are actually promoting the next game so soon into Vanguard's life cycle. Again, it's barely been three months. Three months. And we all know, you know, Vanguard has been basically a disaster, a dumpster fire in a lot of ways, as well as Warzone Pacific and Caldera. Um, we'll see what happens though with Modern Warfare 2. I'm not really sure how much more effort they're going to be putting into Vanguard because it does kind of look like they're they're moving on and just trying to try to move on from Vanguard as quick as possible. So hopefully we still keep getting some good updates for that game in the meantime. But man, I think it's all eyes on Modern Warfare 2 at this point. I think basically everybody is hyping it up. Even the even Activision is hyping it up. So we'll we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the big news at this point. Like I said, they got you know there, there's tweets dropping left and right more and more information kind of popping out as time goes on but i think i kind of covered everything big at this point new war zone new modern warfare 2 you know the quality of life changes the fixes that they're trying to do um so we'll see we'll see what happens but um yeah that's pretty much all i have for today if you are new here please like the video and subscribe to the channel i like to do a lot of uh, updates on call of duty kind of cover it a lot of rants too when it uh you know when the game is bad which uh it's been a lot of bad recently but hey maybe the light at the end of the tunnel is closer than we think maybe this will maybe this really will save cod and and make Warzone <laughs> great again, but uh, I don't know. Only time will tell, uh, but I do appreciate you watching. Like I said, leave a like and subscribe if you are new, but that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.